Hey guys, I'm Brian Paul, and it's time for some more PlayStation VR breaking news. First up, one of the surprise hits of 2018 is getting a substantial update. Copied and pasted directly from developer Tribe Toys press release, quote, in the first free update for Bout of Blood, the team is delivering new content, a new feature, community events, more crew VO, bug fixes, and more. When the update releases, we will kick off the community event by providing a clue to the community, and the first player to find the hidden treasure will work with the developers at Tribe Toy to add their own special mark to the game." End quote. It sounds pretty intriguing, and honestly a good excuse to dive back into the world of Bout of Blood. Next up, the Tokyo Game Show doesn't begin for another week, but we're already getting a glimpse at some of the new PlayStation VR games headed our way. So let's take a quick look at five games that might be worth getting excited about. The first is Demo Reborn, previously a PlayStation Vita rhythm game. This remake adds even more gameplay elements, new voice acting, more cinematic cutscenes, and of course, PSVR support. The in-game environments have been totally redone, so the exploration segments are looking pretty incredible. Demo Reborn is coming spring 2019, and I can only imagine it's getting dual move support to make playing piano in VR as immersive as possible. The next game is Kill X, which might be the most ambitious title in this list. Looking like an off-rails Brookhaven experiment with dual move and aim support, Kill X sports a rather traditional Resident Evil storyline about an evil corporation. But the best part about this game is that it looks like we're going to have our hands on it relatively soon. It's scheduled for release in Asian territories later this year, but a Western release has also been confirmed. Next up is Last Labyrinth VR, and this trailer that's playing behind me is almost two years old, and we all basically assumed it had been cancelled. But since then, the developers went back to the drawing board, remade all of the in-game assets, and restructured the entire game. Their big re-reveal will be at TGS next week, and as a huge fan of escape rooms and horror, I'll be excited to see what they have in store. Last Labyrinth VR is slated for a spring 2019 release worldwide. Next up is The Awakened by Raylight Games. We know very, very little about this one, but the trailer looks phenomenal. According to the website, The Awakened is a Victorian-era thriller with horror traits that lets the player live Robert Royce's journey into the supernatural. Guided by strange visions, Robert finds himself on a deadly path. Overwhelmed by mysterious powers, he will be dragged into the coils of an evil cult to deal with a tormented past. This looks like pretty much everything I'd ever want in a VR game, but I'll remain cautiously optimistic until more details roll in. And then for our fifth and final game, it looks like Sega's Dreamcast classic Space Channel 5 is finally making its triumphant return, this time on PlayStation VR as Space Channel 5 VR, kind of funky newsflash. Again, we don't know a whole lot about what this VR remake entails. Hopefully we'll learn a whole lot more about this one once TGS officially gets started on September 20th, but we can confirm that it is coming to the West sometime soon. And finally, the North American PlayStation Store is featuring huge PS Plus savings on a ton of PlayStation VR games. Most noticeably, $12 for Archangel, $10 for Eagle Flight, $12 for Eve Valkyrie Warzone, $3 for Honor and Duty, $8 for Static, and $8 for The Solus Project. The full list of discounts will be available in the description below. Alright you guys, that's all the news I have for you today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the latest PlayStation VR reviews, Let's Plays, podcasts, and of course, breaking news. As always, I'm Brian Paul, and I love you all.
故事。数千年前，曾经有个想长生不老的皇帝，他在一些超高智商的神秘人的帮助下，开始滥用权力，拿自己的臣民做人体实验。我母亲自称是其中一个被做过实验的人，她拥有不变的容颜。活了上千年，还是晚了一步。有人想着别管我，快走！现在开始睡觉，雷达并未预测到强烈的下风气流，应该不会有太大影响。长岛。想到真的有这么一座瀛洲岛啊，想想也可笑啊，差点为了矜持，错过了这么大的考古发现。福禄，福禄，福禄，你收到吗？福禄，告诉我你的位置。收到。我刚才在山崖上遇到了一和龙卷风一样高大的怪物。